Morning, guys. Good evening if you're in Europe. It's another frosty one here in Melbourne if he's enjoying <laughs> the sunshine in Italy. And uh, the riders have got a well deserved rest day as we pe- prepare for a monster final week at the Giro. And from an Australian perspective, we've got a guy at the pointy end who you caught up with at the start of the day, Ify Jai Hindley. Uh, was a bit uneventful from a GC perspective with all the hitters sort of hanging in there. But there was a crash early in this stage, which would have caused a bit of a scare, I think. Was Carapaz caught up in that, Johnny? Yes, and a couple, a couple of uh, <laughs> bike exchange boys. Jago guys. They, they actually went <laughs> right through. One one did a fantastic fly. I can't remember which one it was now. Uh, it jumped off his bike and landed on the grass. But uh, quite spectacular. But no one got hurt. That's good. It's, All right, uh, they're going that yeah. fast. It took some of the riders thirty kilometres to get back. Mm. The first and half of the race was, you know, it, everyone wanted to get in that break, and, and and the first half of the race was like fifty-two kilometres an hour. And one of the things that people don't see on the on the race coverage is the amount of transfers that particularly races like the Giro, you know, they'll – because the way it works is, you know, towns, when they do the race route, they bid and, you know, there's always money changing hands and sometimes they look at the logistics and go, oh, they'll they'll work it out. They'll, transfer. <laughs> they'll, they'll get from point finish to the out, start. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so what happened with the transfer today? Oh, it's a big day. Look, a glorious stage, uh, you know, north of Torino, right up the, through these two magnificent valleys yeah, and, and sensational. Two monster climbs. Probably the the last climb wasn't quite hard enough to, to make the GC guys put the pressure on. Big climb, but not that steep. But uh, magnificent. So, but they finished. So they finished five o'clock as always. There, there, there's the there's a graph in front of you. For, for and for those who aren't listening to the to the podcast, we had uh, in the last half a two cat ones and then a cat two to finish only because it wasn't quite as steep. Then the riders had to ride twenty four kilometres back down to the buses, which were at the base of that last climb. And then they had a three and a half hour drive to the areas around where you know, we, we, we were starting, uh, we were having the rest day. And the, the Green Edge team, uh, Bike Exchange, Jaco, have only arrived just like half an hour ago and they're sitting down having pizzas now. I was enjoying a pizza with them and to race up and, uh, and, and join you, Dan, and, and detour fans, but hopefully finish quickly, I can go down for dessert. But um, no, a monster wins. day. A monster day. I can't win. I've had a beautiful day. As a matter of fact, you, we, you we, did the bottle, we, we did the bottle feed on the uh, right near the top of the second last climb, which is the really steep one. And um, hand out, I think we got eight bins out, Vazzy and I, to, to the guys. Uh, and then Left, gave leftover bins to the, the, the boys or a few boys there having a barbecue. And look what's if you look a close look at what's in that photo for those who are listening, um, little Italian sausages and a couple of skewers. Uh, yeah, we did very well. We used to do that all the time with Julian Dean on the race route. <laughs> the, uh, the serial tour de France scab. Uh, Karen Jones joining us live. She says, Tough life, JT. I know it, it is. Uh, good on you, Karen. <laughs> Keep uh, up great, the good fight back home. Great win by Chicone, Iffy. Yes, he, he's look. He's been a great cyclist, but his first actual win since the start of the uh, pandemic he hasn't won in two and a half years, which mm. uh, is interesting. But gee, he was good out there today. It was a really strong break. He was the strongest there all day. On that last climb, he just put the work in. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, yeah, he, he he was the the man of the day without any doubt, uh, and and a good bloke too. Uh, we've got another live comment from Andrew. He says Trevor is eating pasta every day for two weeks now and does not need any dessert. It's not true. I've had pasta or pizza. <laughs> yeah, that's them it. Up. You mixed them up. <laughs> uh, as we said at the top of the show, you caught up with Jai Healing before the start, and here's his interview. Okay. So, Jai, 
uh, a hot day and tough day in the office yesterday, but a special one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It was a pretty epic day of cycling. You know, you don't really get too many days like that in a Grand Tour, but uh, yeah, when they come, you uh, got to take it with both hands, you know, and uh, yeah. We had a pretty ambitious plan and, you know, the team really took the bull by the horns and, you know, it was actually a really cool day to be to be a part of this team performance and, um, yeah, it was really like a epic day yesterday. Yeah, it was a bit like uh, people expected Ineos Sky to do their thing, but you guys took it, as you said, by the horns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, we had a plan to, you know, sort of rip the race up uh, on the circuit actually we didn't yeah the plan wasn't to to rip it up on this descent but yeah just the way the descent was it was super technical super narrow and uh, yeah it was really hard actually and yeah at the bottom coming through the finish uh, through the finish line you know we had uh, a really small select group there and we also had quite a, quite a few guys from our team still there so it was yeah it was just it was a really cool team performance. As you said, it was a very elite select group towards the end. Were you surprised uh, when uh, Carapaz went so early, like 30k to go? Uh, yeah. I mean, when I was looking at him on the climb, he also didn't look super great. I don't know if he was like, uh, you know, just playing, uh, pulling faces or what. But yeah, when he went, you know, everyone was, uh, I don't know, not expecting it, I guess. It was also a pretty long way to go, you know, with this... Uh, with this last really steep climb and yeah I think actually it was pretty nice to do the run into this climb in in a bunch rather than being uh, solo you know like I could save a lot of energy and uh, yeah and then on this last climb I could just go full gas as opposed to you know being out on on my own and uh, you know really burning matches so so the shark of Messina, he surprised a few. He, he made a quite a good move, but you come across to him quite easy. Yeah, yeah, I expected him actually to, to go there. Like, he was looking really good yesterday, like, really comfortable on the climb. So, uh, yeah, I knew he was going to go on that steep hit, and I, yeah, just jumped on for the ride, you know what I mean? And, uh, uh, yeah, I also expected him to go on the descent, but... Ah, uh, yeah, this descent was really, like, crazy, eh? So, yeah, in the end, it was a really nice day out. Now, you're looking in a great position. You're at second on, on GC, uh, in, a, in a very comfortable position. What's your plans for this coming week? Because it's a monster week coming up. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, typical, like, Giro fashion, third week is always, like, <laughs> ridiculous. So, uh yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. Normally in a Grand Tour, I like uh, feel the best, you know, in the third week. So we'll see how it goes. And, yeah, uh, like the guys showed, we're, we're really uh, not here to put socks on centipedes, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, really, like, I have, like, a lot of confidence in the team and I think vice versa. So, yeah, we'll look to, to really make some time up in the third week somehow and... Uh, yeah, should be good. Now, you've been on the podium, you've been in pink at the start of the last day, so I, I know in your heart just the podium is not going to be good enough. You you on a victory here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that's why we race bikes. That's like why I pin a number on, you know what I mean? Not to, not to finish second. So, yeah, you know, dreaming of that pink jersey and, uh, yeah, still a long way to go, but uh, see what I can do. Yeah. Good luck, Jai. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers. That was a great interview, Ify. Uh, he's, he's a great character, Jai. Like socks on centipedes. I haven't heard that. I no, love I that. <laughs> but you could just feel yeah. the confidence within that group. Like if you're in good form, but your team around you are ready to shake it up and they're there when you need them, geez, they're going into this final way. And then when he throws out little things like, oh, I don't know if he was putting on faces, but, you know, Carapaz. Oh, that was great. super. Is brilliant. And they really did. Uh, take the race on yesterday and even today uh, I, I was watching them as they were approaching the second last climb and all the Bora guys were at the front like the sky of the old days oh, well, that is Vazzy he shot this yeah mm. look at them all all Bora 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 and um, 
Yeah, it was funny because we'd climbed that climb all the way back down. It came down and then they were just, <laughs> we didn't have to do it. We could have just taken a shortcut. But it was great to see. It was great to see. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just going to be a absolutely electric final week uh, at the Giro for sure. Um, because there's, there's always going to be a story. Uh, like, And I think for Jai, you know, looking at what happened in 2020, he's better off being in the position that he's in now, chasing, rather than having the jersey potentially early and then having to defend and he's a better bike the tension and the pressure. He is a better bike rider now. Hmm. Yeah, no, it's gonna be good. Uh, we've got up, we've, so, we've got an update from Vazzy. He said your pizza was amazing, and then he said it's a shame that uh, if he's missing out on the dessert. So there's your dessert. The, oh, uh, nice gelato. Can, can we uh, can we nice finish now? Wine. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let, let's get to the ads. Let's keep talking about the Giro afterwards, and we're gonna fire up. No, 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 no. Seriously, I can do with that the the dessert. While we're talking about joy, I it, it this is a I reckon that Ineos are very worried mm. because, look, we've got Monster Days. Uh, tomorrow, for you Stage guys. Stage 16. Two, yeah, yeah we've got a rest day for us, but uh, that's today for you, tomorrow for me. But um, on Tuesday, look at that. That is a serious day. And we've got so many of those coming in, in, in this last week. So even though it's seconds now, someone's going to crack. Who, who it is, it'll be one of them, Carapaz or uh, Jai will crack a bit, I would think. Because if they don't, it comes down to the final stage, I reckon Jai will beat him. And the mm. other thing they've got, every time they finish together, Jai will outsprit him and grab, grab a few seconds. But like seven seconds, it's nothing. This is going to – I think it will. one of them will be exposed um, – in, in in this next week, we've got so many of these monster days. It, it, yeah. <laughs> well, let's Giro. have a look. Let's have a look. Yep. This is stage sixteen. Uh, yep. Then you've got stage seventeen. It uh, yep. finishes with two cat ones, and yep. they descend yep. right into the eighty-five kilometer mark. That's one hundred and sixty-eight yep. k. Stage yep. eighteen, one hundred and fifty-two k. That's one for the sprint. That is the sprinter stage. Yep, yep. that's yep. it. Is there only Thank one to come. Yeah. It's stage 19 on Friday. Um, that's got yeah. a couple of Cat 3s halfway through, then a, a pretty nasty-looking Cat 1. and uh, It's 134K mark on 178K stage, but sharp little climb to finish there, a Cat yeah, 2. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got stage 20, which is a monster. Uh, obviously, yeah, that, that, that will time. decide oh, this bike race because it's very steep final climb. That, that is the one that will decide this bike race. But uh, and I'll be amazed if they get to the final day time trial with only a few seconds uh, still there. But yep, mm. yeah, it's a wonderful week coming up. All right. Well, let's have a quick break. Uh, when we come back, yeah. we're going to fire up the detour, of Delorean. Stay tuned. Yeah. Look at this bike. You think it's just a bike, right? But it's not. <clears throat> it's a bike. 374 people are looking at. This guy, this girl, them, all looking at it. People from here, there, and wherever this is. People that are looking for a bike. Or just a piece of it. Amateurs, semi-amateurs, and pro-amateurs. This guy wants this bike, but with this crank, and these bars. This could be the perfect match. But not this one. This girl has a bike to sell and thousands of people might purchase it. Eyes on bikes help grow small businesses. His, hers, yours. And the latest data and insights help those businesses keep moving. We are the world's number one bike marketplace with over 500,000 products and 900 brands where buyers and sellers are brought together in a place where a bike is never just a bike. Bike Exchange, where the world buys, sells, learns, and rides.
every moment. The all-new Lexus NX. Thanks again to our sponsors, Bike Exchange. Get over to bikeexchange.com.au for all your bike needs. And, of course, Lexus of Blackburn. Support the companies that support cycling. There's your photo. Thank Tom. you. I was going to say, where's the photo? But you're too quick for me. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on this morning. Had a <laughs> strong coffee. <laughs> Blake, Blake Quick <laughs> and Ruby Roseman Gannon, winners of the uh, the last uh, Lexus of Blackburn Bay Crits. And as I say, They've been a great sponsor of cycling for a long time. Sponsor of the women's uh, um, ba- uh, Sun Tour, uh, which has been fantastic. Also, the, the moment of Warnable, they are cycling people. And, of course, Jayco. Get over to jayco.com.au. The 2022 range has just been released, and it's yeah, they're industry leaders for a reason, Ify. They've got 45 years of experience in history, mate. A great, a great value for money, and they're designed and built to give you years of enjoyment. It's no wonder that one in every two RVs That's in Australian roads are Jayco's. Mm. There you go. And uh, as, as I said, Jayco have been supporting cycling for decades now, particularly in Australia. So uh, Rick Jagger, brother of Mick, says, not a great stage, boys. They must have all been heavily toasted after yesterday. Yeah, a little bit of that. Um, also, when they design these stages, they design them in a way that are going to create to maximize what Maximise cash. Well, that's part of it. But they had two monster climbs, two of the hardest climbs of this race, in the middle. Mm. And the last climb was not that hard. Yeah. Mm. It didn't. So look at the, look at that graph for those who aren't are listening. You can't see it, but it, it, it was so it was twenty k long, but but gradual. But you know what? What I've really enjoyed uh, so much on this uh, Giro is being. In... I thought it might be restrictive. You can't get out, but just being in there with the boys. It's just in, to yeah. the, all of that. But you know what? It's been sensational. Like today, even though the guys haven't been there long, get in there, they're all, it's a family, you know, all those Mm. staff. They've been there. Some of these guys have been there right from the start of of the team. They're all in there. The riders, they're all, they're knackered. They've had a big day, a big bus drive. They're all having pizzas in this wonderful pizza restaurant, which is part of this hotel. Um, And while he's up there, you know, Doing his thing, and, and, and the vibe is fantastic. It's a shame I just mm. to run away. I'm missing half of it right now. But well, mate, it's I, been I, very you're going to be returning the favour at the at the Tour de France. I'll be missing. You know, think of the French desserts. I'll be in a much worse <laughs> position. Rick Jagger. Also, I'm not sure Europe is ready for the return of Dan Jones for the Tour de France. When was the last time you were in Europe, Dan? Last time I covered the Tour de France was in 2017. So this year will be my 13th edition. Uh, we. First started in 2005 with Ify on the detour to France, and then we went back in 2007. We had a run there with Fox Sports, covered the Cadell years. Then it was Green Edge, and I've been sitting on the pine for too long. Uh, and this year I'll be back with yeah SBS, and I'm I'm all about the fans, the Couch Peloton. So I'll be the Couch Peloton representative throughout the tour. Fans will be giving me questions, who they want me to talk to, and I'll just be winding the riders up and trying to get as much colour as possible. Speaking of colour, we're going to fire up Ify's favourite segment, the Detour DeLorean. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. Now, I went through the archives and stage 15 from the 2016 Giro. Now, remember, Esteban was up the pointy end. Uh, that was when he tragically uh, lost the pink jersey on the penultimate day. But uh, we got to stage 15 and we're always looking for angles. And I remember saying to Bewley, hey, I'll follow you in the time trial and do you want me to play the role as the DS? I'll, I'll get you going, mate. I think we could run top 10. And Bewley wound me up and said, yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. What sort of style are you going to go with? I said, mate, I'm going to take bits of all the DSs. So this is uh, 2016 Giro Stage 15. Enjoy. Righto, guys. Welcome to Backstage Pass, Stage uh, 15. 15, yep. 15. Up in the mountains again in the Dolomites. Today's a 10K mountain time trial. 
Obviously yesterday for us was a huge day, a special day with uh, Esteban taking the Queen stage out and uh, today's another big day for for Esteban to get some more time on his on his rivals and us to um, make the time cut. We've got cars and stuff going everywhere today, different people following different riders. I've been paired up with Jonesy. So we've got a bit of a different format going on, DJ. Why don't you talk us through it? Well, obviously, because I've been paired up with you, I can't be here for Esteban's warm-up. But uh, I thought what we'd do is I've spent 4,000 hours in the cars with the directors over five years with this team. So I think I'll do a bit of a send-up of Steve-O, Lepage, Whitey. And I'll just give you a bit of a licorice all sort of motivation out on the road. Because I, I really do owe it to Sam, given that you pulled me aside and got the backstage back on track. You know, we've done the best we can with the restrictions that we've been given at the Giro, but uh, hopefully today's a good day. And uh, any any advice before we head out, mate? Well, it's sort of a bit of a privilege to have all three directors in the car following me. Yeah. Yep. One. Yeah. All morphed into one. Yeah. So uh, you know, they all offer different different approaches to uh, information on the radio. So I just like a bit of a mix of everything, you know. Um, what you want more, Stevo? Um. Oh, can never have too much Steve though, so yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, a, all right, yeah. he's always a good man to have in the car and just uh, a, just gotta give it some stick today, mate. Uh, it's, a, it's a long day at the office, exactly. all right? Steve O's yeah. calculated approach to talking, yeah, okay. Whitey's passionate approach, yeah. Lepage's um, Come on, eh? Yeah, Belgian approach. Alright. Let's do it. Big day. So Herbie, you got your own sign, mate. Yeah, I had a nice fan out the front who bought me a Forza Happy sign. They must have seen Esteban sign before and He's climbing pretty well at the moment, so they're a nice little chap oh, outside yeah, what, for me. What the fan look like? What, were they, what was their story? Ah, uh, just young kid. Young kid? Yeah, yeah. green hand jersey. You sure you didn't do that yourself? No. Huh? What does no mean? Like, you're sure no, or you're not sure? He's out the front still. Oh, yeah? 14 year old. What does he look like? Uh, he's tall. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty handsome boy. Okay. Well, we filmed you before, mate. So, what do you have to say now? Yeah, look, mate, you've, you've been around the traps for a long time, but uh, my recommendation for you is just to be yourself. You know, we talk to the rider beforehand. Some riders like a lot of information over the radio. Some people don't want to hear anything, or some people just want to hear plain statistics of where they are, how they're going. So it's a real one-to-one -one thing. So, Jonesy, just make that relationship with Bills, and that's how you get the best out of him, mate. And just make sure he doesn't miss the time cut. Okay, Sam, plan today, as you know, we went through as uh, just a steady pace, mate, and get into a good rhythm. That's it, girls. Giving it some stick, mate, especially in this early part. Good job, Sam. Good job. Yeah, left turn ahead. Full gas. Full gas. Uh, Sam, it might only be 10 k's. Remember, eat and drink, mate. Eat and drink. In fact, you've got no food, so just drink. Yeah, don't want to rattle you, Sam, but you got bloody movie star breathing up your butt, so you might want to open up the pipes here, mate. Yeah, come on there, Sam, you've got the push, eh? Come on, eh? Venga, Sam, venga! Oh, look at these muppets, get off the road! Come on, eh? Final kilometre, come on there, push, come on! Calm, you! Right on the line, don't you leave anything left in the tank! Yeah, look, uh, I didn't even take a radio, Jonesy. What? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So you didn't get any of that? Nah, but I'm sure it was good. Look, it's uh, it's solid, but it's not as hard as the time trials we've seen here in the past. My prediction is it's going to suit the bigger, stronger guys. It doesn't necessarily suit the pure climbers because it's a fast hill time trial, averaging 6 or 7%. Um, but after the racing we've had over the last two weeks, if you've got form, it's certainly going to be a show today, and that's the plan with Esteban. So, Jonesy, Today your holidays are just stopped, you're not any, anymore in a race car, so today you are with me, I'm your boss. We need to, to do everything good for the riders who come to the finish line. We have bananas, we have jackets, we have towels, we have beatles, we have everything. Don't be on the other side, you need to be with me all the time, we can't miss them, okay? Just build into it, then when you get to the downhill section, remember, aero position and keep under, under your threshold. But look for a very tight aero position. Then when we get on the climb, you do your thing. No, no, I'll do that. Thank you. Give him one job to him, wait for a match and he is this <laughs> Sorry mate. I'm only new to this. Yeah, yeah. This is the hardest part before it levels off. This is the hardest part, man. Come on. Come on, Esteban. Come on, that's flattened out now. It's flattened out. He's a Colombian kangaroo. The flying. 
Colombian kangaroo. Dice que es el canguro volador colombiano. Just we get him straight away to the car. Yeah. He'll be really soaked in sweat. We need to dry it up. Yeah. Clean up a little. Yeah. You know, just to get himself a little bit together to to sort out the rest of the stage. Get uh, arrow down here, arrow here, and wind it up. You've got one more ramp to go to the finish line. Come on, man. You're coming back very good. All the way, all the way. Finish with nothing. Bit fast this time, man, but you, but the other guys, uh, you only lost nine seconds to Valverde, man. Very good. Okay. Ah, uh, another, another really hard and difficult day. It's the last one for this block. And the, <laughs> the three minutes today is the longest one. So, but we are really, really happy. We jumped for the second in the, in the GC. And always I want to say thanks for Orica Grenache, for everyone in the team. Tomorrow rest in this beautiful hotel, this beautiful town. And we will see you the next time, the next week. All right, folks, we're here. We're talking about hashtag Planet OGE, and uh, we're wanting you to send in your clips for the videos. We did ours in the last two rest days. We've got a rest day tomorrow, and uh, we want your input. So get your phone. Yeah, that was waffling on at the end there. Yeah. <laughs> for the last two minutes, but anyway. <laughs> ah, it's all good stuff, good music. But, Wonderful uh, stuff. Yeah. And the, the great memories uh, of, of uh, uh, a Giro. Ooh, we, we can't say too much. The sharks yeah. were there, but oh, no. it, it, yeah. Anyway, it was a wonderful ride. Uh, it's so close. Mm. Don't know how he shark came back from that one. But anyway, mm. it's still scary. moving on. I didn't even think about it. Moving. Anyway, on. yeah, that's right. So, what are your plans for the rest day, Ify? Um, well, we're not far from the beautiful lake at, at Bergamo and uh, Vazzy and I plan to get the bikes out and go, it's about 15k of the lake and do a lap of the lake, which is about 80 or 90k. Whether we get all the way or not, we're, 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 we'll see. I was talking in terms of content. You're going to get, oh. the fans want content. They don't worry about your rides, mate. They want great interviews. I thought, I thought it was a rest day. I no, thought it was a rest day. Vazzy, this is when you drive harder, mate. This is when you get us some gold. Vazzy's still down there having the dessert, mate. No, he's talking to Vazzy. He's down having dessert, which I'd like to be there right now. All right, um, well, let's wrap things up. Benji, the uh, YouTube uh, sensation, he says, 2016 Giro was amazing. Nibbly the goat. That's a big call. The goat. Yeah. He's, yeah. Uh, he's definitely got a um, great record. Won a couple of oh, yeah. he, Tour de France. Won the Giro. Giro. Tour de France. The monuments. He, 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 mm. he, 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 I love to watch him race. So mm. I'll leave that go for now. Um, yep. Yeah, I won't be doing many interviews because we're only in the bubble. I can't go out and interview any of the others. Uh, it will be fun, relaxing stuff about rest days. That's what our – Can you give us insight content. into what the riders eat? I'll give you a three. All of that. Just, just give me like all of that. Talk to we, the we will have it's a it's a rest. Day. Leave it with me. I come up mm -hmm. with a rest day program. Okay, I want proper insights, like how they recover, what they do, what they do in the off time. You know how they recover on a rest day. That is your challenge. You'll deliver. Okay. You always do. <laughs> all right. Thanks for uh, tuning in, guys. YouTube.com forward slash Detour Podcast. Seven a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time for the rest of the Giro. Uh, it's been fantastic having all your support, and we really appreciate it. And we also appreciate support of our sponsors, Lexus at blackburn.com.au, bikeexchange.com.au, and, of course, jaco.com.au. And we're going to be mixing it up. I think we're going to be plugging Mitchell in this week if he might be able to talk about the Aboriginal Art Gallery again, bring back that sort of content. <laughs> And maybe mention some of the absolutely amazing uh, wines. Well, the Prince so. Shiraz. <laughs> Next level. Oh, All right, guys. We'll go enjoy your dessert if we looking forward to your content from the rest day. And uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Cheers. This is the winning ride of the Tour de France.